Hey guys, it's the one and only Bougie Marie. What? I get my, uh, you know, my bartender skills up. You gonna become a bartender? Nah. I'm like, I support. Nah. I'll be there to get some shots. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, put some extra shots in your shit. <laughs> have you drive in. <laughs> it's not, it's not. I do not drink and drive. <laughs> Actually, I do drink, but do I'll wait. I do drive, but I'll wait until like I'm so, like sober. Like she didn't do that last time. I'm telling you, when we was with her. When? Oh my goodness, I was. Where we go? Who? Where, where we go? Scared for my life. Where do we go? Hmm? Where we go? Oh, you don't remember? We all went out to Hollywood, and he was like, "No one's gonna stop right here and get some drinks." We talking about we went to Hollywood. We did. See, you don't even remember. That's how drunk you were. Bro, I was not drunk. Yes, you were. Talking about when did we go to Hollywood? It was like months ago. When me and the guys was with you. Bro, for your cousin, when we went bowling, bro, yeah. I was not drunk the fuck. I was she high. There's a difference. Nah, but you was sort of side to side. You was on the freeway. I was like, oh, God. Because I be switching lanes. Mm. What? Switching lanes? No, but if I'm too drunk, I don't drive. My car will stay where it's at, or I will sleep in my car. By the way, she had a Nissan, guys. So, you know, that Nissan activities. <sighs> yeah. But um, before we get to this video, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, uh, turn on the post notifications, and let's get straight into the video. All right, Cross, today you're going to write a 250 word essay on the first person to milk a cow. Like, why would the guy walk up to the cow and grab the cow's udder and whack it off until the white stuff came out and then drink it? And also, what made him leave it out in the sun <laughs> and okay. let it get all moldy and everything and then eat it as cheese? But anyway, y'all write an essay on that. Hey, wait a minute. What did make some. This where ChatGPT comes in. <laughs> I'm gonna go milk a cow and drink the white stuff for the first time. Must have been my great 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 grandfather. Yeah, I believe it. Hey guys, before we start, I say, you want any peanuts? Oh, penis? Yeah, sign me up. I want some. No, 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 no peanuts. Oh, peanuts. No, I don't want any. I'm fine. Hey Penelope, you want any peanuts? <laughs> no, Junior, you shouldn't eat those in class. They're messy. Wait, how about some peanuts? Oh, that was savage. As soon as you crack on the thing, it'd be on us like, I'm gonna use my grilled chicken sandwich from Chick Fil A. I don't get the fried one because they fry it in peanut oil, and I'm deaf free allergic to peanuts. And Junior, I see you eating peanuts in class. Don't you let those things get near me. Don't worry, teacher. I won't let the peanuts get near you. I believe a guy milked a cow for the first time because he bought a wedding ring for his wife and this cow's udder was the same size as his wife's finger and he wanted to see if the ring would fit. So he put the ring on the udder and it got stuck and he started yanking on the ring to get the, the ring off the udder and the udder squirt milk in his mouth and he said, hmm, that's yummy. But to find you, you can, and sentence you to death by electric 
chair tonight. I see you later. Electric chair. Come on, dead boy, or soon to be dead boy. Get in there, you. Oh, I don't want to die. Yeah, it sucks, but you did the crime. Okay, so you do get a last meal, and that can be whatever you want. So we'll be back in a few minutes to take your order. Would you like a drink while you wait, or maybe some breadsticks, Caesar salad? I'm too sad to eat. Okay. We, uh, oh, that, that's the visitor doorbell. We put a doorbell in so that the death row inmates know when they have visitors. We made it sound like a home doorbell because death row inmates are never going home because they're going to die. I'll get it. Hey, Jenny. Hey, guys. Bro, I heard you dying tonight. That sucks. Well, say hi to my dad when you get to hell. How do you know I'm going to hell? Uh, I just had that feeling, dude. Well, Joseph, Jenny is not dying tonight because we're going to get him out of here. You're going to break me out of jail? No, we're not going to jail for you, but we are going to prove your innocence. How do you know I'm innocent? Well, because if you had actually thrown that peanut, you would have said, hey, guys, look what I'm about to do before you did it because you'd like to show off. Yeah, you like the glow, dude. You're right. If I would have threw that peanut, I would have told you guys I was going to do it for yeah, exactly. We don't know who threw that peanut, but me and Joseph are going to find out. In the meantime, you need to buy time. How am I going to buy time, Cody? They're going to kill me tonight. But before they execute you, they have to give you your last meal, and that can be whatever you want. So just make sure you ask for something impossible for them to get, like something that could take days or even weeks for them to get, so they have to postpone your execution. Will that really work? Yeah, it's your last meal. They have to give you whatever you want. O okay, I'll ask for something really hard to get. Okay, come on, Joseph. Let's go find out who threw that peanut. Okay, got to work something really hard. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. How can I take your order? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Welcome to Death Row. How can I take your order? Sorry, I haven't been a server since I worked at Applebee's. What do you want? So I can literally order whatever I want. Yeah, literally whatever you want and as much as you want, too. I mean, we can do crazy stuff. Like That's crazy because they really crazy do that. Like when they about to get electrocuted or like, like all of that, they really tell them what they want to eat and they will get everything. Fries, a pound of strawberries like, and a pound what? of Diet Coke. And then this other guy, James Edward Smith, he wanted a lump of dirt. So we can do pretty much anything. Okay, so, uh... I want you to go to the top of Mount Everest, okay, Mount Everest. and I want you to find a bald eagle's nest bald eagle, okay. and steal an egg uh -huh. and cook it sunny side up. Sunny side up, good choice, good choice. I want you to go to the Marianas Trench okay, yeah. and kidnap a bunch of baby octopuses. Ooh, okay, baby octopuses. And I want you to get a Papa John's pizza, a pepperoni one, and I want you to take the pepperonis off and put the octopuses on the pizza. Oh, okay, octopus pizza. And I want Papa John to say a racial slur at the pizza. Okay, that shouldn't be hard. And then I want you to... <laughs> Pizza, better niggas, right. Papa John's. What? That is definitely not going to be the slogan. No. It is. Go to the Sahara Desert and find a blue cactus. Blue cactus. I want to eat that. Okay. Uh, I want uh, two Big Macs, uh -huh. but I want the Big Macs from somewhere where they worship cows. Well, like India? Yeah, yeah, get a cow from India. The most worshipped cow in India. Okay, most worshipped cow in India. Yeah, I want that. I want that how you make the meat from the Big Macs. Uh -huh. I want a two-month expired can of ravioli okay. from Chef Wardy. Uh, does it have to be two months? Has to be two months expired. Okay, okay, got it. Two months expired. Uh, what day is it? Uh, Sunday. Oh, I want Chick-fil-A. Oh, Chick-fil-A is closed on Sundays. Well, I still want it. Okay, you got it, Chick-fil-A. Oh. No, like, I wonder if they really do that. <laughs> uh, I want you to go to Tatooine and go to McDonald's and get blue milk. Okay, blue milk from Tatooine. Uh -huh. I want George Lucas to taste test it for me. Taste it by blue milk. milk. Got it. And uh, anything for dessert? Uh, the crust of uh, Pop Tarts. Just the crust? Only the crust. I only like the crust. Oh, me too. Okay, so uh, I'll go get all this stuff, crust but it might take a while, so your execution insane. might not be tonight. Sorry about the inconvenience, but I'll get this going and you just sit tight, okay? <laughs> all right, Joseph. Let's look around the classroom and see if we can find any clues that prove Junior's innocent. Okay, dude. Oh, gotta find some evidence. Let me check Bully's desk. Hmm. What a silly drawing. Oh, I gotta find some evidence! Oh my god, Joseph, look! Oh, what's up, dude? There's a security camera of the classroom. It shows Bully grabbing a peanut off Junior's desk and throwing it at the teacher. I'll record it with my phone and show it to the cops. Come on, let's go! Uh, Cody, where are you? Order up! What, you actually got all the food? Hell yeah, I did. This is your last meal. Okay, so this is your sunny side up bald eagle egg from the top of Mount Everest. This is your blue milk from the McDonald's on Tatooine. This is your blue cactus from the Sahara Desert. These are your Big Macs from India. This is your two month old expired Chef Boyardee ravioli. This is your Chick fil A on a Sunday. And this is your baby octopus pizza that Papa John's himself personally yelled the racial bro, slur. Bro, he bro, yelled the racial I slur know y'all did not just waste pizza. Like, them better be gummy octopus. You don't, you don't like octopuses? That literally just my stomach just like just slipped. That look you might that look you might slap. Ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that look you might slap. You know the the the, the oceany flavor from the octopus, you know the the what's it call it? The chewiness you get from it, the gumminess, you know. Mm -mm. And then if you get the cheese. I could definitely see that. Didn't even want him to. He actually wouldn't stop yelling racial slurs. He speaks entirely in racial slurs now. Oh, and also, this is your Pop-Tart crust. 
How did you get all this? Oh, it was not easy. Let me tell you the story. So I hopped on a non-stop flight to Nepal, because that's where Mount Everest is, and then I hired a Sherpa to take me up to the top of the mountain. But about halfway up Mount Everest, my Sherpa died, so I had to make the rest of the hike on my own. But when I got to the top of Mount Everest, I saw a bald eagle's nest, and I thought, wow, this is going to be easy. So I grabbed one of the eggs, and then all of a sudden this eagle swooped down and punched me right in the face. Like, he punched me. Like, he didn't scratch me. He balled up his talons and punched me in the face. So I started throwing haymakers. I started punching him in his face. And then the eagle held me down and started pecking at my eyes. And then he threw me off the top of Mount Everest and I fell all the way back down to the bottom. But I still had the egg in my hand, so I got that. So then I hopped on another nonstop flight to Guam, and then from there I took a submarine out into the bottom of the Marianas Trench, and I saw a family of octopi. So then I wrote free candy on the side of my submarine, because even octopus kids can't resist free candy. So then when they came up, I kidnapped the baby octopuses, and the, and the octopus mom and dad, they were so upset, they were screaming an octopus. I mean, I don't speak octopus, but they seem very <laughs> upset. So from there, I hopped on another nonstop flight over to Italy, and I went over to Papa John's house so he could cook me up a pizza. So he answered the door, and he called me a racial slur, because I guess that's just how he says hello so then he cooked up the pizza with the octopi on it and then he called the pizza a racial slur and then he called me a racial slur so from there i hopped on another non-stop flight to north africa which is where the sahara desert is and then i rented a camel and then wandered out into the middle of the sahara desert and then my camel died of dehydration so i lost the deposit on the camel so I just kind of wandered around the Sahara Desert for a while, you know, I was dehydrated, so I was hallucinating, and I was starting to see things, and I saw a mirage, or I thought it was a mirage, but it turned out it was an actual blue cactus. So I took it, and then I blacked out from dehydration. So then I woke up in a pyramid hospital, and I said, well, thank you for saving my life, and then I hopped on another nonstop flight to India. I got a lot of frequent flyer miles on this trip. So then when I got to India, I saw a bunch of people gathered around and worshipping a cow, and then I said, hey, I, I gotta take this cow to the vet because I think he has mad cow disease but really I just took it out back and I shot it and I butchered it for the meat and then I came out with two Big Macs. So from there I hopped on another non-stop Nasty. flight over to NASA and then I had them send me on a rocket to Tatooine but then when I got to Tatooine I got robbed by some Jawas and they were all like what do you need? And then when I was in Moss Eisley, I found the McDonald's there. So I went through the drive-thru and they were like, Utini! And then I ordered that blue milk you wanted and they gave it to me and they, also, they, they said, Utini! And so after I came out of the drive-thru, I saw they actually have a Chick-fil-A on Tatooine too. And it's open on Sundays because the days don't work the same there. So I went through the drive-thru at Chick-fil-A and they went, Utini! And I got that chicken. So then from it's there, the I, I, I hopped on a rocket and I went back to my house and then I went into my pantry and it turns out I actually already had a two-month-old expired can of Chef Boyardee ravioli, and I had some Pop-Tarts, so I just took the crust off those. So yeah, you should be grateful that I brought all this food to you. So bon appetit, dig in, eat the cactus. I want to see how that works. I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> Damn it, you pulled a Lawrence Russell Brewer on me. There was another guy who ordered a bunch of food, and then we brought it, he said he didn't even want it. Damn it, I knew you were going to do this. I was halfway up Mount Everest, and I said, I bet that little bastard doesn't even touch his food. But you know what? I'm taking this egg. I fought hard for this egg. Okay, let's go to the electric chair. Well, actually, I, I do want to eat. Oh, okay, well, eat the cactus. Never mind. Yeah, that's right. Come on, let's go. All right, Simmons, let him fry. All right, mate, let me just turn it on. Wait, 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 wait. He didn't do it. I have proof. Show me. Look, right there. It's his other kid named Bully. He threw the peanut. Oh, man. That's lame. I wanted to fry him. Simmons, let him go. All right. I'll go arrest this bully. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cody, for getting proof that it wasn't me. Yeah, no problem. Order. Bully. It turns out you were the one who threw the peanut on your teacher's sandwich. Well, normally I would love to give you the electric chair, but we spent too much money on giving the last kid his final meal, and now we can't afford to turn the chair on. So I suppose I have to sentence you to 100 days community service picking up trash on the freeway. Picking up trash? I wanted the electric chair. I know, right? I wanted to see oh. some fry. This is dumb. I hate this stupid job. Okay. What will be our last choice of meal? What would you choose as your last meal? What would you choose? Mm. Pussy. You gonna, you gonna cook it? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna saute it. Well, since I have never had lobster, it'll be that. You never had lobster? I never had lobster yet. Wow. And today was supposed to be the day I was supposed to get lobster. Wow, that's crazy. But I can get lobster since nobody wanted to, since somebody was like, cancel. That's crazy.
crazy. Yeah, I had a dinner date tonight. Canceled. I still should have just kept the reservations in with myself. I should have. I always like, start doing still, that. It, it, I think it's a red lobster like 10 minutes down. Every time I get sleep food, I never get lobster. What the? I don't know why. <sighs> yeah. That's crazy. But, I think um, I'm going to start going to go eat by myself. <laughs> you think I'm playing? I mean, that I, a lot of people do it. You have to be a part of that crew. Yeah, I know. I'm going to be seeing it on the seeing it on the internet and shit. Talking about treat yourself, taste it. That's how people make their content. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's Bean Boy J. And the one and only Bougie Marie. If you guys have anything for us to react to, please put in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Turn on your post notifications, and our social media will be in the description down below. And we out, guys. Peace. Bye.